Hi. So this video is actually going to be a video of truth. And I mean truth. Look at my hair. <laughs> I have started this video so many times this morning and people are mowing their lawn and dogs are barking and wind and interruptions and you name it. But you know what? Pugh, I'm done. You hear that airplane? That's okay. Oh, is that guy sawing? Yes, he is. We're going to carry on because this is the final video about procrastination. <sighs> this morning has been beautiful. It has been a beautiful morning. It is gorgeous out. I actually even got a little walk around the park. Yay me. But I wasn't able to do my morning routine and I'm really feeling it. And you may be asking yourself, well, why aren't you doing it now? Why are you doing the video? Because I feel doing the video right now and what I did just previous to the video starting is very important. So more, more important than the morning routine? Probably not, but very important. Okay, so here's where I'm at. <sighs> I got word that the business name, The Craft of Wellness, has been approved. Like nobody else has it, so I can use it. And now I have to register the name. But I got word of that like a week and a half ago. And it's been over a month since I did it. That's how long it takes. But it was about a week and a half ago that I found out that I could actually register. And I hadn't done it. I've been working on a logo for the craft of wellness since I started. I haven't finished it. I want to get business cards. Now granted, the business cards I can't do until the company name was like approved. Fair enough, right? Um, but I could still like come up with ideas and just hold on to it and create it. And then if it was a go ahead, it was ready. No, I didn't. So what's going on? But more importantly, why am I not registering the name, the company, the craft of wellness? Why aren't I doing that? It took a lot of work, thinking, processing, tossing around. And I realize it's fear. Yeah, I know, surprise, surprise. It's always fear if you break it down at the very end. But fear of failure? No, I actually don't fear failure, <laughs> legit. I don't see it as failure and uh, I don't fail. So why would I fear it? <laughs> really? But success? Oh, shit. Yeah, why? Why would I fear success? I want success. I'm excited to be successful. I have been successful many, many times. Why am I? What's going on? Why do you think? Why are you fearing it? New responsibilities? Hmm? Yeah, pro possibly. Maybe can't be so hidden and doing your stuff and things. That's always a thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, what's going on? Like, what is the procrastination about? Why are you fearing success? Because I'm not worthy? Hmm. Not worthy. Well, you're not stupid. Because I can tell you with so much happiness that the committee of assholes aren't telling me that I'm stupid anymore. It is so rare, very rare that I hear it. And if I hear it, it is like gone within seconds. They just put their tail between their legs and slither away. <laughs> so like, why? And then I thought, hmm, because it could be taken away from me. Right? Or I'll get so far and then it won't happen because it's taken away from me. <laughs> I could see that. Shit. So, you know what? That fear can't stop me. Hello? Or I'd never be where I'm at. So I thought, well, that's not good enough. Mel Robbins in the back of my head. Five, four, three, two, one. Get up and go. And I got my computer and I pulled up the email that said, yay, the name is okay. And I went to the BC registry to, uh, you know, put in the company name and get it all started. And I've been looking at logos and I've kind of narrowed it down. I got a business card that I can, no, I haven't done the business card yet, but I've got the idea and the template where I can go and get a business card done. So like, okay, good on me. Yay. Look at me getting shit done. But then of course things are, sometimes things just don't go smoothly. Although lately, 
I've been seeing that so much. Even just simply driving somewhere and getting a parking spot and going in and coming out or whatever that may look like. It all seems to all kind of flow and work together. The synchronicities, synchronicities, oh my God, I have to really work on that word. Anyway, is um so much lately. And not just with, you know, things like that, but like knowing somebody else who is trained as a laughing yoga leader. Who would have known? That's exciting. And then talking to her, finding out about a place, a business that I think would work really well with me together. Oh, right. But I want to go. So I want to go there and introduce myself and, you know, do the networking. But I need a business card. Oh, but I need to register my business. And that's how it all kind of came across where I'm sitting outside on my patio <laughs> with my computer in front of me with Mel Robbins in the back. Five, four, three, two, one. Get up and go. Right. And then doing it because if I don't do it, it's not going to happen. Like I'd always said, it won't get done if you won't start it. <clears throat> so we got to do it. Even if you keep hitting a roadblock after roadblock, that's why you have all your crystals with you <laughs> to help you get through it. Anyway, this is a rambling video credit if anybody watches it, <laughs> but I needed it to just be able to get it out there and just kind of like, all right, this is where I'm at. I got this. I'm going to do this. Just go through it, right? Because what are you fearing? Success? That's kind of odd. Counterproductive, for one. I'm always talking about how efficient I am. Well, it doesn't sound very efficient if you're working against yourself and you're not getting it done. And if I want to, you know, be a self-care coach and a wellness facilitator, then I need to make that happen. I need to do it. I feel it. I know it's happening. I'm living it. Let's do it. Let's get it on paper. Okay. So I'm going to hang up now, or I guess not hang up. I'm going to end the video now, and I'm going to finish doing the registry of the company name, The Craft of Wellness. Thank you for sticking in this long if you did. And um, who would have thought that self-care would be so life-changing? Bye.